fraud. Many people say there is no fraud in the system. That's absolutely not true. All kinds of outside academics and outside groups have looked at this. We have about $4 billion in Medi-Cal fraud in California. We have a billion and a half dollars in welfare fraud, a billion dollars in the in-home health care program fraud. This is simply not okay. You as taxpayers count on the government to protect the people who need it the most, not the fraudsters. I am tired of Meg Whitman attacking the IHSS program, especially the ones who we take care of family members. We, we at one time had good paying jobs. We had to quit to take care of our loved ones. So she needs to get her facts straight and find out where we came from before we became providers. All of us do a job with pride and dignity to take care of the elderly that no one really can actually have the patience to take care of. So Meg Whitman, I challenge you to actually come and do our job and you and see what we do for the little pay that we get. We don't take sick days, off days, we don't have vacation, um, we don't have holidays, let alone your high billion dollar paycheck that you have. They made her pay that money back. And after she took the money, then she turned around and she laid off 10% of the employees that work for eBay. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, Meg Whitman is a uh, false person herself. She's not telling the truth. Uh, senior citizens that have disabilities that need to be taken care of by others. We need our program. And if Meg Whitman takes office as governor, she will destroy a lot, a lot of families. Not in control. She should not be in that position. And this idea that uh, she says about 70% of uh, the in-home support Meg Whitman, she says there's fraud in the program, 70% fraud to be exact. A billion dollars worth of fraud in a program that only has a budget of a billion four. That's ridiculous. We need someone who's honest. We need someone who's caring. Vote for Jerry Brown. Aye.